Welcome back to another action-packed What They Look Like. Last week I was swamped and couldn't do a video, so I'm including a couple of the UFC Denver What They Look Likes, and I apologize for getting it late, but it's here for UFC Houston. I had food poisoning, which is fun. Don't eat at the Papaya King in Las Vegas across from the Hard Rock. That's the lesson if you learn nothing else from this video, which is possible. Let's get started. What does Valentina Shevchenko look like? I love this picture. This picture cracks me up for some reason because it's like cheesecake, but it's also super Eastern European. Very amusing. Does Valentina Shevchenko look like the foreign exchange student that you're sort of turned on by and also sort of afraid of? Or does Valentina Shevchenko look like a Russian interpretive dancer who also smokes cigarettes and parties all night at least once a week? Juliana Pena. Does Juliana Pena look like the pillowcase ruiner? Come on, guys. We've all went out with that one girl, come home with her, and woken up the next morning to a basic clown face on our white pillowcases. Juliana Pena, I'm on to your game. Or does Juliana Pena look like your friend's girlfriend who is always a little overdressed? You guys go to a baseball game, she shows up in like wedges that are like six inches high and a sundress and a hat and giant sunglasses. You guys are going to brunch after a night of partying. She shows up dressed like she's got a runway show a little bit later. Does Juliana look like the girl who's always a little overdressed? Now on to UFC Houston and Ovent St. Prue. Does Ovent St. Prue look like the guy who's still killing him at the park? Do you have any of those friends where you call them up, you haven't seen them since like high school or college, and you're like, hey man, how's it going? What are you up to? And they're like, oh, you know, still killing them at the park because pickup basketball or football or some other pickup sport is the number one thing in their lives. Is that what Ovin St. Prue looks like? Or does Ovin St. Prue look like the high school football captain who now works at Walmart? Either way, Ovin St. Prue basically looks like a dude who played high school or basketball in college, let himself go a little bit, has a little bit of the dad bod going, but could still probably fuck you up. Let's move on to Beck Rawlings. Beck Rawlings. Does Beck Rawlings look like she walked into a shitty tattoo store on Venice Boulevard and said, give me one of everything? Or does Beck Rawlings look like chlamydia? I feel bad making that joke a little bit because of her recent... Uh, divulsions about her health concerns, but come on, she kind of looks like chlamydia. Curtis Blades. Does Curtis Blades look like a neck beard come to life? Come on, guys. This guy has the worst style of all time. Look at that haircut. Look at that beard. He even has a tribal tattoo, for Christ's sake. Like, he's another one. Did he just go into the tattoo shop and was like, uh, give me that tribal that's on the board? Or, does Curtis Blades look like the dude who cuts his own hair and beard even though he has a full-time job and makes plenty of money but just refuses to pay for haircuts because that's just a rule in his life? All right, a couple quick hits here. Francis Ngannou, now that he ditched the braids that made him look like the predator and he carved that star into the side of his head, does Francis Ngannou look like if Bobby Brown was addicted to creatine and deadlifts instead of crack in the 1980s? Henrique Da Silva. Does Henrique Da Silva look like Frankenstein's monster? Yes, that's right. He looks like Frankenstein's monster because Frankenstein is the scientist. I went to college with a dude who consistently would point that out over and over again, and now I think it's really funny. Anyway, that's going to do it for this week's What They Look Like UFC Houston Fight Night 104 edition. I'll be back next week with the UFC 208 What They Look Like. In the meantime, be sure to support this video series by giving it a like, a thumbs up, giving me a comment, telling me what fighters look like, and sharing it on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll talk to you very soon, and we'll be back with more What They Look Like.